J.D. Mochi. Yeah, just normal World War I. Skip the intro. June 1st, 1916. Dear Ma, I hope you're doing well. It's been four weeks now since we've been stationed at Verdun. Verdun? It's Verdun, right? It's with great relief that I can finally get right back home to you. I know you've been thinking about Pierre. They sent him to the medical bunker after he was shot. I'm still stuck in this miserable support trench for a few hundred meters down the hill. There's no signs of infection in him, which is a miracle given the conditions which we've been in. We've been fighting the Germans over the fort for weeks on end. It's swapped hands multiple times over the past few months. I don't see what the point is anymore. The fort and our trench have no more artil artillery, and our water is poisoned and the supplies are low. In one week, our platoon will be shifted south back to the village to resupply. It'll be a relief to feel clean water on my skin once again. It will bring both of us home, Ma, worry not. Promises made, promises kept. I think it's a French dude, but I keep thinking it's like... I will write. Dead. That kind of definitely gave me some Silent Hill 2. Wake, uh, James in the bathroom vibes. Moths are flying around the flame of the lantern. This looks pretty cool, though. I'll finish this later. This one's called Conscript. Yeah, that is a little slow. You can run pretty quick. No need to be going this way. Moths are flying around the flame of the lantern. Like, honestly, the most World War I like, media I've really have seen is, like, what? Like, all quiet on the Western Front. What else is there? They're just all fucked up. He's not responding. Seems to be in a day's battlefield. Mamma Mia. Wonder Woman. So that's some atmosphere. Really? Kubrick made a World War One movie? I didn't even know that. Fucking grim dark. Keep your head in trench during day and most of night. I mean, you really have to be told that. He's bleeding profusely from his stomach. It's not looking good. Jesus Christ, man. Weapon storage. I think I skipped an area at the beginning of the back. As far as, like, games go, though, like, what? Just Battlefield 1. Door won't budge. Blockhouse has been locked, but we've not been told why. A key's required. We can't go this way. It's not responding. It seems to be in a daze. How come I don't have a helmet on? Yeah, it reminds me of Darkwood a little bit. Just the overhead view, I guess, but... It might have been in the Steam Summer Jam thing. should speak to the commander first. Command! I'm supposed to read that part. Private. They're back in the fort. Our last machine gun is out. The last rounds are in weapon storage. Run up there and bring some rounds down now. If they get down here, we're finished. 
What are you waiting for? You want one in the back of your head? Get moving. No ammo. Bro, shouldn't you be like hiding? He's not responding at all. Those guys are just choking. Every crate is empty. We've been out of supplies for three weeks now. After this, I never want to touch a shovel again. The shelling is momentarily stopped. Someone left their gear here. You all right over there? Door appears to be locked from the other side. You know what it kind of reminds me of a little bit too is that like, oh, what the fuck was that game came too dark? The guy who made, um, what do you call? The one of the first horror games. Can't remember the name of it. Were you the guy in the mansion wandering around? He's got weird hair. Alone in the dark guy, yeah. He made a game called Too Dark. That's kind of a little bit overhead, but it's very dark, as the name implies. Also, Spitgate. Thank you for that. Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. Dude, he has, like, big hair. I mean, it's cool, but... Someone's tried blocking the way to the fort. This won't hold them for long. It won't be long before we're raided. It'll take a miracle for us to survive another one. just want to go home. It is a quality that makes him very memorable. It's blocked off. It's like dust motes just kind of like floating by. Someone's trying to blind him. Just want to see my family. Equip weapons from your field bag. Always be ready for combat. So we're just about to be attacked by something. Raiding club. Here we go. Some fucking monster's gonna jump out. But yeah, Too Dark is a game where you're like a retired cop. And your family was like murdered and tortured. And now you're like a retired, like, you know, anti hero. And you like track down all the murderers and stuff like that. And like, oh shit. It's a fucked up game. There's a lot of really dark shit happening in it. It was free for a little while. Quick weapons from your field bag. Always be ready. Yeah, it's the Punisher, but like even more fucked up. What's the one that, uh. Oh shit. You were never here? It was like that, kind of. That, like, that's the level of fucked up stuff that happened in that game. Dying. Somebody must drag me in here. Just fucking piles of dead bodies. Pierre's probably still at the fort. I need to find him. Gene Henry. It's most of the platoon. Hmm. Too dark. Yeah, with like a number. Like Indie Gala was like giving it out for free a few weeks ago or something like that. Oh, now we're in, like, the other worlds. It's got some really good sounds. The mud. It kind of reminds me of, like, a Game Boy Advance game a little bit, too. Or something like that. Right? Like, the color palette? 
that's coming. Block houses are locked. Keys are right. Yeah, the perspective. I never had a Game Boy Advance, honestly. I was like, just. I thought it was too cool for video games at that point in my life, so I didn't play a lot of Game Boy Advance. Never played any DS. So that style isn't really my favorite, but I do like this. Various items can be used from the inventory. Weapons can be assigned for quick select buttons. Certain items can be combined to create medicines, ammunition, and tools for the field. Space is limited. Consumable items and ammo can be discarded. Think again, or think carefully before doing so. Attention should always be paid to space in your field bag. Only take what is necessary for survival. Always be vigilant. The enemy can strike from anywhere. Uh, I like how it's like about fighting, you know, soldiers, not about fighting monsters. Still the same, same thing though. Yeah, there's a lot of cool shit on DS that I never played. I think the only game I've ever completed on DS was Phoenix Wright and Final Fantasy IV. Like that version of Final Fantasy IV, I think is pretty good. Lead matches. Have I played Lone Survivor? Yep. I never beaten it though. It's a great game. They were definitely a little bit ahead of their time. I do need to beat that at some point. I think I got like really frustrated with it one night when I was like super tired. I kept dying over and over again. Door won't budge. Keys required. That's just mustard gas. We'll stay away from that. Yeah, Final Fantasy 4 and DS is a good version of it. I still think the Super Nintendo one is the best, but that's just nostalgia. Gunpowder A. Uh, so we got like Resident Evil 3. Inventory is so limited. Really? That's all I got? I do like this inventory options menu kind of thing, though. It's pretty awesome. So what the fuck am I just going to have to use up? Some of that. Uh, 26th of May, 1916. The Germans have been relentless in their push for the fort. The bombardment has not ceased day and night, and our trench lines are beginning to become unrecognizable. Emil was sent out to draw the map of our trench lines. He didn't want to do it, but he didn't have a choice. Despite that, he makes for a pretty good cartographer. First of June, our supplies are about to run out. There's nothing left, and if the Germans recapture the fort, there's no chance we can retake it in this state. The tunnel we spent weeks digging has collapsed, and our dynamite supplies came in faulty and wet. If we had usable explosives, clearing the rubble down there could be possible... But they say all the supply lines have been shelled. Apparently, this leaves us with two options: either we dig another one, or we try to recapture the fort foot by or the fort by foot. I was gonna say fruit by foot, fruit by the foot. Both of us are probably in a death sentence. Or both are probably a death sentence for us. There's just a fucking advertisement for fruit by the foot in the game. The only supplies we have left are these fruit by the foots. They only have a few meters left. Everything's locked. Out of order rifles, they don't work. Just some tattered uniforms. Yeah, you gotta remember. It's gotta be the metric system. Oh, a storage box. How do I? Okay. Just for now.
Just for now. Gunpowder A. Yeah, I don't think that one's as popular. Rifle rounds. <clears throat> Vegetables by the inch. Only with a certain, like, demographic. Some oil. It's completely empty. Did I try this door? Well, I got a little gun now. <clears throat> I think I missed something. What kind of gun is that? It's the inspiration for um, Han Solo's gun, isn't it? <clears throat> Semi-automatic sidearm, si quick to fire with five fire rates. Mauser. It's not the same thing as a Luger, though, right? <clears throat> That was a bad idea. Don't think I can go in there. So this is all fucking blocked. Item chest. I guess we gotta go back. Luger's different. Wait, what about this door? I didn't see this. Door appears to be locked! In true uh, survival horror fashion, every door fucking broken and locked. He's required. Oh, look at that horse. Is he okay? I hear something. Fuck. Miss. There's like visibility too. That AI though. I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh. Ooh, the aiming is a little. This guy takes a lot of bullets. You don't get anything for killing them either. All right, I think I need that health now. <clears throat> I had the two-handed stance. I mean, it was, but you probably didn't last for too long. There were some people still like using horses and stuff in World War One, wasn't there? Like the Royal Russian Army was still like mounted, like using arm, like melee weapons. How do I take it out? What? There we go. There we go. Also, I think I want to go melee. There we go. Yeah, but wasn't that like a majority of their forces at the time were like cavalry? Like dragoons and stuff like that, when like a lot of other countries had like moved on to different tactics and technology and stuff like that. Dead horses everywhere. Completely broken now. Like, what happened here? I can only imagine. I 
don't think I checked this room. There's a room with a spot on the wall you didn't check. Yeah, wasn't there a... What was that movie about the horse in World War One that came out a few years ago? I forgot about that. Spielberg movie? War, war horse or something like that? Yeah, war horse. The large bag. It's a little bit bigger than your current one. Yeah. Took the bag. Inventory space increased. Nice. It's double the space. Hell yeah. I love Dude, this save room theme is pretty cool, though. I think it won some awards, though. Really like the save room theme. Dimly lit lead lamp. Fuel the flame with a lead match and record your progress. Oh, the lead matches are ink ribbons. The blue light gives you just one moment to relax and reflect on what's happened. If I'm ever just like sitting reading stuff on the internet or like working on a video or an After Effects or some shit, I always have on like a playlist of all the save rooms from Resident Evil usually at some point. Like good, I don't know, just like music for concentrating, I guess. Eh, I think we're good with all this. I like um, RE1 remake save room theme the best, I think. Every crate's empty. Right, right, right. We can sell that. I don't think we know the combo for this. More fabric? Must be for, like making a bandage or something. Killing or wounding of homing pigeons is punishable by six months in punish and punish oh my god. Imprisonment or a large fine. Just forgetting how to read. We remind you that homing pigeons are doing valuable work for the government and war effort. I didn't know that. That's crazy. That it was like punishable. Emergency. They have the fort again. They're dropping heavy artillery on support trenches. There are many wounded and we cannot evacuate. We're suffering. Send help for heaven's sake. You logged emergency message and drew your notes. Oh, they're like shooting them for food. I see. None are alive in this one. Oh, look. A pigeon. There's only one homing pigeon left here, but the cage has been locked. Need to send for help. We gotta get a key. All the other ones are dead there, so. Check this. Alright, that's locked. Yeah, that was my first impression when when someone showed me it. I thought Darkwood too. I don't get it as much now, but definitely see it. I haven't played it for a little while at least. Da, da, da. Pocket watch. I don't think I give that pocket watch to Bruce Willis at the end of the game. Barrels? Uh, I guess I walked by him. Didn't even realize it. Oh, there's more shooting happening. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, I thought I was stuck. Apart from Game Jolt Steam Niche, I already usually find indie games you stream. Um, I don't know. I guess just following a lot of those guys on Twitter and stuff like that. Like all the devs and people involved with the indie horror scene. You'll see them retweeting other people's games and stuff like that. Stuff that you probably wouldn't normally see get exposure, I guess. A lot of people message me too when they see a game. Some mustard gas seeping in. It's not good. But even then, honestly, I miss a lot of stuff that comes out, so. Steam is always even pretty good. Like, just go to Steam and go to the horror section and sort by new games and you'll see, like, stuff that's coming out ahead of time sometimes. It's a good way to see if, like, there's a free demo for something. There's some good, like, um, curators. Or there used to be, at least. Like, Rely on Horror. On Steam. Yeah, mustard gas is it's good for you. Well, I think especially with, like, quarantine and stuff like that right now, we're seeing a lot of people work, you know, what else is there to do with it? Working on games and stuff. Especially people that are, you know, not working with a major publisher and are, don't have the, you know, the only means they have to develop their games are, you know, with what they have in front of them, so. It's cool to be able to reap some of that hard work play some cool games. Oh yeah, the watch. Father's old broken pocket watch handed down to Pierre. He never leaves home without it. It's not good. It looks like uh, fucking Agent York. Kind of. Oh, yeah, the barrels. Pistol rounds. Inventory is full. Um. There's a lot of really good YouTubers, too, that specialize mostly, like, on horror games and stuff like that. Like, John Wolf. I would recommend his YouTube channel. He's always playing like random games, pretty much like I do. It's the way I've seen some games. I don't think I have a rifle yet, so I don't need these. Pocket watch, lead matches. I can put that away for now, I think, probably. It's my problem in the beginning of like a survival horror game is I always bring too much shit with me everywhere I'm going. I never have enough room for anything else. There's a door I keep running by? This door? Blocked from the other side. And this one was just, uh, the pigeon room. Over here? I went this way. This is where the pocket wash was. And this is a dead end. Oh, the door is knocked. Okay, I see. The locker was blocking it before, now it's not. That was that sound. I think another reason I thought of Darkwood initially, but not as much now, is like... the f I guess, yeah, a little bit of the field of vision, but like, Darkwood is very much more zoomed out. You know what I mean?
like dark wood gives you a huge picture, which is overwhelming almost. Yeah, acid wizard, the dark wood people. I think they are taking a hiatus. I think they're Polish developers too, actually. A large roll of barbed wire. You couldn't get through it even if you tried. Could be destroyed with a wire cutter. A lot of like really good horror games coming out of Poland lately. Like World of Horror is that one Polish dentist. He made all of World of Horror. Um, like Mano just said, it's called Conscript. Yeah, five, two, three, five, four. Why is it set up like this, though? Yeah, you're supposed to add them together, maybe. Seven, three, nine. The combo for the box and the bed, maybe. It's like someone moaning in the background. Okay. There it is. If it's just a wire cutter. Now, yeah, what is that? Trench key. <clears throat> yeah, they just look like fucking evil stormtrooper guys. Like from Wolf Brigade. Completely broke now. Yeah, this, this dead man next to this dead horse, it just reminds me of Empire Strikes Back. Like he tried to crawl into that horse for warmth. And someone found him. He paid dearly. There's someone else over here. I like, I don't know if I like the, uh, line of sight thing, though. I have the key, though. No, it's the key. It's the key. Yeah, I know, Masamune. That's why I said Stormtrooper. Why I said it. Lock here is showing signs of rust. Unlock it with the trench key. There we go. Like most games do now, if if you have the key, it tells you when you try to open the door. There are a lot of games that used to not do that though. So you, like, wouldn't know until you're running around like a fucking asshole. Until you actually try to use the key or whatever. Let's go to the latrine. Where is he? The melee seems a little bit more effective than the pistol does, too. It's a latrine. Makeshift mask. For mustard gas, I guess. 
What they used to um to neutralize the effects of mustard gas. Soldiers used to like rub something on their masks. I forget what the fuck it was though. It's piss. It was just piss. Okay. All right. There you go. Yeah. So you piss on a rag and put it over your mouth, and it would neutralize the effects of mustard gas. Just in case you ever need to survive, a, you know, a mustard gas explosion. A Canadian doctor came up with it. Oh, Canada. Can I just, like, put this on? No, oh, limited use. Did it say this was, like... No. <laughs> You still use it. Need a place to go drop some items off. Actually, maybe not as good as I thought. There we go. Cheese that AI out. Green's getting bloody though. Oh, that's nice. Crunchy sounds. All right, well, I can go get that lockpick. Some jam in my eyes. Ye old Silent Hill reference. Just reaching into the toilet for a key item. Into the slop. Should just slither down in there and wait this out. Door won't budge. So there's gonna be like a specific key to unlock all these blockhouses, then I guess. I don't trust this room. Dynamite's been soaked. It's completely unusable like this. Maybe we shouldn't leave it in a fucking puddle. Tipped over. What the hell is... No, they didn't have toilets. They were just... Peeing on rags and puffing it. Urine was a very valuable resource then. Door's been sealed with thick rope. It's too tightly bound to remove with your hands. Um, I'm joking. Oh, there's a guy in that one. In that crater. What do you think he's doing? kind of expecting there to be like some kind of new enemy that like jumped out and tried to kill you in that area. Tin of poppies. We're gonna make some opium. Uh, maybe I should actually 
could probably reload that other gun, right? There we go. That saves the spot. Um, I'm gonna put the watch away for now. I don't think I need it. I'll hold on to the lockpick. Put this key away too. Get the matches so we can save. Or there's not even a save spot here, huh? I think he said that there's a way to... Yeah, okay, there we go. How do I assign... How come I can't assign... I can't click on any of these options for any other... Oh, you have to double click on it. Okay. Didn't realize that. That makes it a little easier. You can do an auto. Just quick change your equipment. Stream of water is running down the wall. Looks surprisingly fresh. Is something filtering it? I wouldn't risk it though. Just drink that water. More matches. Hmm. He's enjoying his times in the trenches. He's living his life. Yeah, the music is nice in the save room. Hello? Kind of like walks like Vince McMahon a little bit. The coop key for the pigeon. There's just a dude dying over there and you can't even go over there. You all right? Got some Flintstones chewables. Save the Barney just for you. Holy shit, me just in. Thank you for those 10 gift subs, dude. That's really nice of you. Dropping the sub bomb. The combat is a little frustrating. Might take a little getting used to. Yeah, thanks so much for that, dude. That was really nice of you. Like, the bullets just... Yo, where's he going? Uh, so they don't hear you if you're just walking, I think. You can almost stunlock him. I don't know if there's like a way to block though. It feels like it needs a block. I don't know if I missed that. You know what I mean? Because then you're just like trading hit for hit. Yeah, there needs to be like a knockback or like some kind of blocking mechanic, I agree. Also, it's up, Sphinx. I was just saying earlier, too, you showed me this game the other night, and then there was a station for it set up at the uh, the convention. I was kind of surprised to see it. This is a cool game. Yeah, or, yeah, a little bit of a stun. But then again, you could just, like, stun lock them. I don't know. Yeah, kick, too. 
Just like a simple little alternative to just like standing there swinging. Unless I missed it. Yeah, it was in the Eek thing. I was, I didn't. That's what I was saying. It's really cool that all these indie devs all work together on stuff like that. I can't think of any other like smaller niche gaming community that really does that. Of a certain genre, I mean. You know what I mean? It's so cool. I just said, you know what I mean, like four times. Cutter half? Especially for a lot of these gaming shows, it's all organized by, like, who's paying who. So it's like, oh, yeah, we're going to be in the Xbox show today because, you know, those are our benefactors. At least with something like this, they're all just kind of on their own. So it's nice to see a bunch of, like, smaller devs kind of, like, looking out for each other. And, like, sharing each other's games and, like, doing a little project that's going to, like, you know, kind of show off everyone's project. Whoever was here had a good time. Yeah, they're probably fucking dead now, dude. What do you think of that? It's almost like a, like a zine or something like that. Like a horror game zine. Yeah, like the indie mega booth. Yeah, exactly. Which is fucking is a great time. That's the best part of the PAX floor now. To be honest, is the is the indie mega game booth. You actually a lot of these games were even there. Uh World of Horror was there this year. Lockpick broke, it's been discarded. Oh, it it it, it opened lock though. This is a good year for the indie mega booth, actually, at Paxis. Knuckle Sandwich was there, bunch of cool stuff. Empty lighter. Yeah, the fireworks thing is wild. It's happening, like, everywhere, even in, like, small towns. I can't rearrange this stuff to get that. Gold-plated lighter. Can light objects if fueled? It's completely empty. Small daily ration of distilled alcohol can be used as a disinfect. Disinfectant, rather. Should probably assign that to three. Piece of a wire cutter. Where's the other half? Pigeon coop. So we got to make our way back to the pigeon coop. The zine you saw on the floor of E3 is a real thing someone made, really? I'm pretty overwhelmed with how cool that was. I was not expecting that. Well, I think the fireworks are a result of all that stuff. Like, people are like, fuck it, I'm going to go outside and light fireworks off. I don't know. That's, that's what I assume, at least. Okay, this leads back to here. The pigeon booth was, like, right down here. But, like, last week, I just went through a drive through real quick and got some food, and I was sitting there eating. It was, like, quarter to eight at night and I just had the windows down. I was chilling. Not a very busy part of town. And these kids ran up and just were in the parking lot with a bunch of those uh what are the like the fountains? They're just lighting off fountains. Those are the ones you could buy at like fucking Walmart. Like they just shoot sparks off a little bit into there. It's like everywhere. Well, Roman candles are the ones you hold and shoot at each other, aren't they? Do you ever get hit with a Roman candle before? Shit sucks. Yeah, Roman candles like the one that you hold and you point at each other and shoot it. You shoot them at each other. It's like a little fireball. Magic missile. 
Oh, I'm lost. I think I meant to go back the other way. I thought I was farther back. One time, me and my friends had this cool idea. We thought, we were like, dude, let's make this cool firework. We'll take, we'll grind down all these sparklers and we'll put them in a, like a, a bottle and it'll be a fucking huge explosion. So we were like, grinded all the shit off the sparklers and put it all into like some container, I think. And like set up a fuse for it. it lit it off, it did absolutely nothing. It was just like really bright for a second. It's like, ah. Uh. I think we put it in a tennis ball, actually. Some dumb shit like that. What the hell? Yeah, I had a friend who wanted to actually become like a fireworks designer. Like there's a pyrotechnics program at Boston University. But I think he became disinterested, but uh... Oh, he was, he was definitely into that stuff. Yeah, yeah, I hung on with some weird people. Eating light bulbs and shit. Ah, he's stuck. See, like, I'm trying to aim down, and he keeps going to the side like that. Like, clearly, I'm pointing at that. Oh, he was trying to reload, I see. He was just ejecting the cartridge. I think that's two shots from the rifle to kill them. That's pretty good. Are these humans or monsters? I think they're German soldiers, but they're, like, zombie soldiers. Or it's, like, some psychological horror where you're actually, like, killing, like... Ran into mustard gas and got knocked out, so it could all just be death. Oh yeah, we're just running through a Petco. Oh no. Did the bird die? It's dead. There's no way to communicate with the outside trenches now. God help me. There's something at the back of the cage. Oh, get it. Not that. Wait, what, what? I have to actually use the key? We were just talking about this. You open the cage, but it's too late. There's something at the back of the cage. Another lockpick. Well, that wasn't very cathartic. But what do you expect? But I don't. Da, 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 da. Hmm. It seemed like there was a lot of stuff I kind of just walked by on the other side, though. I thought we were going to get a key item out of that, maybe, though. Hmm. All right, I don't know uh, what the hell you guys are arguing about, but maybe stop doing that. Please. I only have one half of the wire cutter. So that's what we need next is that 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 part. Okay. Is 
else. I'm gonna go back to the latrine area. I think that's probably where most of the stuff that I ran through was. Oh yeah, the door filled with gas. I'm gonna save again real quick. It's a pretty hefty little demo. See, there's like a lot, a lot of the gameplay. Uh, what do I want to put away? Lighter. Half of that. What do you use the alcohol for? Yeah, this is just a demo. Take the rifle rounds. Like, we're getting a pretty good amount of what the game is about, it seems like. Dimly lit lamp. Yeah, this is really cool. I like this a lot. I don't know when the full game is due to come out, though. It'd be cool if you could melee with the rifle. I wonder if you can. Like, if you had, like, a bayonet on it or something like that. If you could shoot and smack them when they got too close with it, it would be really useful. Second half of 2021. So maybe they do have a good amount more work they want to do with it then. Or maybe there's just, like, a lot more level design left. Yeah, there's a few Kickstarters. I gotta check some of them out. The Kickstarter for Alessa just ended, I think, yesterday. The doll-looking, uh, like, survival horror chick that was in the show, too. Well, just her character, rather. I did, I threw down on that one. It was only 15 bucks. Yeah, with a little bit more polish, this would be great. This already is really nice, though. I like it a lot. And the pacing is really good. Like some survival horror games, especially like the first like hour or just a slog of walking back and forth, delivering key to, you know, like a key to another door to a key, opening a door for a key. There's been a couple different areas and stuff like that. I haven't had to turn any generators on. Not much left of his leg anymore. The rats probably got to it. Those horses? Horse corpses are blocking the path. They must have fallen in. A lot of dead horses. Delivering a door to another door. Working for Home Depot. Delivering air conditioners. More fabric. Why don't they eat the dead horses? They need food. Bunker got blown the fuck up. Oh, budge. Make out the faint smell of gunpowder through the door. Oh, it still has three hours left? Yeah, get on that. That looks really cool. He's been working on that one for a long time, too, I think. They did, but many horses died in no man's land. It probably wasn't super safe to eat all those horses that died, too, if you didn't know how they passed away. Eating, like, something that's going to get you sick, I guess. But then again, they were eating a lot of stuff, so it probably didn't matter. The large bag. It's a little bit bigger than your current one. Hell yeah. Three inventory upgrades? Oh, it's the shooting, uh... Execution Alley. Executed for cowardice. Damn. There's got to be something else here. 
This seems like a place you would fight a boss or something like that. Maybe there's like a mini boss here in the full version. Yeah, World War One was fucked, dude. There's all sorts of atrocities that we'll never even like learn about. You know what's a really good YouTube channel I would recommend if you want to learn more about stuff like that is like um Kings and Generals. He covers specific battles and stuff like that and things that happened in them. Certain battles of World War One, World War Two, and just like throughout history. And like different accounts, because there's like 30 different accounts of every battle ever. There's like a, you know, a nationalistic view. And then there's other points of views. Like, I'm sure people didn't know it was really this fucked for a long time after this shit happened. This game's called Conscript. It's like a World War One horror game. All right, so we came through the latrines. Door won't budge. It's kind of a funny contrast to Command and Conquer, too. Like, I was watching all those videos about the history of the Command and Conquer universe. Just how, like, laid back some of that stuff is. Do I have anything that could cut that? Really? A lighter, maybe? Maybe like uh, Resident Evil 3? Burn the ropes? Well, just like all like the Tiberium stuff and like the timeline bullshit. And like fake Stalin. Fake Russia and Red Alert and stuff. Gotta be something I missed around here. Yeah, Tiberium. I don't know. Something about all that is it like reminds me of like Star Trek. The actual plot line. Here we go. I missed this. More rifle rounds. The screen. There's something else I missed over here. The screen sound like an alien that Tim and Eric made up. I think they legit have like a screen skit or something like that. Isn't it like a religion they made up? Shrim. That's it. Close. Yeah, in the billion dollar movie. Yeah, I mean, the story of the Tiberium dawn and stuff and, like, how it actually fucks up the whole planet, like... It just turns into, like, some Mad Max shit at some point. Too bad that EA fucked up that whole franchise. So badly. What the fuck did I miss?
Oh, uh, okay. More pistol rounds. I think I exited through here and I started over. I didn't go to the left on this side. That's locked. I know, I did go over here. Looks like you could like push that out of the way or something. Nothing. Hmm. I don't know where the fuck to go from there. Hmm. Oh, right. We can go through the mustard gas area maybe now. That's right. I didn't pee on it, though. Oh! New enemy. Shrimp. This the combat with the rifle feels a little bit better though than the club and the pistol. Mustard boys. Uh oh. That's not good. No! <laughs> no! It's weird, it like changed resolutions when it closed. Do you ever have like army men when you're a kid? Like just like little plastic army men. I used to get them all the time. I love that shit. Uh, do you remember the guy that had the mustard gas canister though? He was like standing sideways and he had the, you know what I'm talking about? The mustard gas guy was the worst. I think it was a mustard gas gun. It was like a grease gun or something like that. Yeah, we used to set up like hundreds of army men on the deck. And sit in chairs like 10 feet apart from each other and just throw pennies. And try to knock over everyone else's army men. It was a grenade. What else did he have in his hands? Yeah, bazooka guy. All right, so where the hell did I get left off here? Maybe you can make more masks with the cotton or something like that. Oh, this is where you start. Flamethrower guy. The little, the sitting machine gun guy. I think he was laying down sometimes too. That's locked. I think they're trying to bring army men back, like Sarge's heroes. Aren't they trying to make a new version of those? So, I wonder if I should even fucking go in there or what? Oh, the mortars, yeah. So that's opened. 
Yeah, I used to like the Army Man game. They got fucking weird, though. What about Small Soldiers? That movie was... What the hell's going on here? That movie was kind of fuck, fucking weird, dude. Menu's broken. Not what... No. Stop. Stop this. What the hell's happening? Got a little fucky there for a second. Yeah, small soldiers is fucking weird, dude. Like, one of the army men dies, and then they take his brain out, and then they split his brain up, and they put it into Barbie dolls, and made the Barbie dolls come to life. Like, so they took one of their squad mates, cut his brain out, and then put it in Barbie dolls so they would have companions made from the brain of their fallen comrade. It's, it's kind of weird. Oh, is, is that a safe area now? Oh, this is a new area, I think. I was trying to save ammo. Oh, this is bad. Trading shots. The lock here is simple in mechanism. I'm like, oh, yeah, definitely. Get into that med room. Bat fight. What is this? Uh. Not something good. Yeah, the Gorgonites were like so cheesy too. Someone did like a really good review of that. I can't remember. I think it was like Ralph the Movie Maker or something like that. That's where I'm drawing on most of this material from. Lighter fluid. Nice, nice. Can I like beat this? Hey. Wake up. Good, thank God there's no durability. What is this? Oh, the bandage with alcohol would probably make a better bandage. Yeah, that's true. Like an antiseptic. More alcohol. <gasps> is it a giant head? It looks like two eyes. I'm Shelves lined with various old medicines and ointments. There are three health vials hidden amongst the medicines. Drink one vial? No. I'm good for now. Let's go investigate this shit. Oh, no, it's not a head. It's just the thing. Hey, you okay? You okay over there? <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to save that for when I'm actually injured, I guess.
Crates full of barbed wire. Sealed shut. It'll just be wire anyway. Oh, this looks like a good room. Door has been completely sealed with barbed wire. The only way to get through is to cut it. I don't have the cutter. It's not the time to be sitting. Yeah. Barbed wire is pretty much hand in hand with World War One. Okay, I know where we are now. Hmm. This is that other dead end. No, oh, no, this isn't a dead end. What was over here? Like mustard gas leaking in from somewhere. Oh, the fucking barbed wire. Yeah, wasn't barbed wire like kind of invented close to World War One or something like that? I feel like it was an important invention for some reason I learned about. I don't know why. There's something about barbed wire that like changed the fucking world though. I feel like I had that explained to me at some point. Hmm. Yeah, I like cattle ranching. Became way easier. It's 1867, huh? Close. All right, where the fuck is the other half of this barbed wire cutter? Where are you? I guess the other part of that mustard gas room. We need more masks, though. Very topical. Need another mask. Have you ever touched an electric fence just to kind of like see what, it was, what would happen? Maybe you can make one out of these. No? For some reason, like Ren and Stimpy always. Oh, it makes bandages. Oh, the lighter, though. That's right. Don't whiz on the electric fence. Really raise my curiosity. I was like, if you if you pee on it, does it electrocute you? Like, what are they trying to say? What? Yeah. Enough fuel to last the night. But there's not, there's different like levels of electricity, obviously, voltage that people use in their electric fences. So not every fence is operating the same. So it's not a good way to test such things. Alcohol bandage fully restores health, cures infections. I'm going to put this way for now. Gotta do this. Hmm. So the door that had rope on it, I need to find that. I'm pretty sure you need to light the rope on fire with the lighter. A la RE3.
Yeah, Dr. Disrespect had an episode about that. About the pee. Yep. No, no, I meant what I said. Dr. Disillusion, too. Or Captain Disillusion. Um, where the fuck is that other door? <laughs> He's busting all those bathroom myth myths and stuff, you know? Yeah, that was that was Beekman's world. <laughs> I think that door was over here. No, this is the way to the execution area, I think. I think that door is over here. There it is. Yeah? I knew it. Huh? I fucking knew it! The rope is burnt away. Do you think that that is pulling from Resident Evil 3, kind of? A revolver, nice. Or inspired by. Just the, the idea of burning that rope like that. The fuck? Earthquake? What the hell's going on? Was that like a bug? What the fuck was that? Cut her half. Nice. No! The item pickup tone is pretty good, though. Yeah, I was expecting there to be a boss fight, like some giant monster was gonna just roll up. That would've been kind of nice. Nope. Don't think so. So we need to get back. I gotta go all the way back. I might as well just go through this guy, I guess. I think you can juke around him. Nope. Nope. Bad idea. You might need like a dodge or oh shit, there's mustard gas here now? Well, I'm fucked. We need more masks and stuff. I'll be dying. Caution. I'm gonna heal. Did you ever play the darkness? I think I played the Darkness 2 or something like that. It's the one with the Mafia guys, right? And then I could deal with the devil, the one guy. Yeah, I think I have the second one. Whoop. Are these all spent shells? Artillery shells? Is that what that is? Yeah, that has to be what that is. Bunch of Pringle cans. Also known as the pea ration. Invented by British scientist John Pringle to help bolster the war effort.
Oh, god damn it. I need to go to a save room. I actually have a can of sour cream Pringles right here. That I've had for like two weeks. I just haven't been in the mood. Oh, right, barbed wire room. I need to get to a save room. Damn. Sh let me shoot! Oh, this is bad. I got fucking rocked. Oh, come on. Oh, that combat is a little whack with the pistol. I don't even remember where I got the fuel for the lighter now. It's through the gas area. Some crap. Yeah, whatever it is, it's a weird death row. It's kind of funny, though. Where the hell is this gas area? Should be using this map probably a little bit. This would be really useful. Can't believe I was ignoring that. So that's the gas area. I'm right here. I gotta go down there. Okay. It's a pretty good map, too. Yeah, I assume the combat will probably get like a bigger overhaul at some point. Yeah, there's only been two monster types. Mostly like soldiers and stuff, but... The map doesn't show exactly where you are, though. There it is. Well, the pistol just seems like crap, kind of, but the rifle is pretty good. I'm gonna run by these guys, I think, too. Maybe not. What? Ah. Here they come! You know what? Last time I went through this way. Yeah, here we go. And then I used a lockpick on this door. I think this is where the fuel was. Bandages. You took one of the vials and drank it. Two health vials remain on the shelf. That give me full health? Yep. Oh, that's just alcohol. Lighter fluid. Hey, knock it off. That gives you the bad end. That was Pierre. Chilling in there. You just killed your brother. Seems like two bullets isn't killing these. Guys. I thought it was two. Chemical fluid. Chemical fluid. An assortment of different chemicals can be combined with lead powder to create ammo. Good. Hmm. 
No, it wasn't an injured soldier. It's just like an injured baby. It's not a big deal. Is there a save room? There it is. Actually, I should save. Sustain the dying flame. The fuck, uh... Where's the lighter? Oh, I have it already. Oh my god. Yeah. Right, let's do this. So now we go all the way back here. And it's this door. Long walk. Spam. I don't think I've ever had spam. I saw a video of someone cutting spam the other day. I'm all set. The can kind of reminds me of like animal food. No, this is just a demo apparently. I'm assuming it's gonna be ending soon. There's a bunch of different flavors of it, too. Like dog flavored. Something like that. It looks so cool. Like wet dog. The spam flavor. This is what I imagine it tastes like. I don't think it's a shelling. Because we don't hear anything. I think it's like a foreshadowing of something big. Big monster. I hope, at least. Cut her half. Okay, we're good to go. Oh, the gas, you're right. Would be from shelling, I guess. I thought it could just be like... His own imagined nightmare, but... That's a good point. Okay. Needs more wet dog. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen video of them trying to use the pipes. Like, long pipes they are connecting to, like, a gas machine. Like, pumping it out. Uh, let's get rid of the pistol. Or the revolver. If you've been playing Command and Conquer at all lately, there's that one song. And the guy's just like, Revolver! Revolver! He just keeps saying it over and over and over again. That's safe, shit. Yeah. Uh... 
Oh, I forgot the big backpack. I'm a dipshit. The big backpack was with where the the executed people were. That would have made life a little easier. I fucked up. I'm gonna go back and get it. Dude, all the remastered tracks from the new Command Conquer sound amazing. Oh, it's real bad now. I'm gonna run out. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Oh, I went the wrong way! We can't do this. We have to abandon this. Futile tactic. Oh, uh, this mask. We need like 18 more of them. Hmm. All right. Back to the original plan. Yeah, just hold your breath. We should definitely let them out. The wire's been destroyed. Come on out! You're free! Oh, shit. Minecraft. That's where it was discovered. Monster. Whoa! What? What? I knew that was gonna be the end. That was great. It seemed like there was a lot more I could have done, though. There's a couple other areas we could have explored, it seemed like. <laughs> Ds get degrees. Two healing items used, 205 damage. Stag Corp. The four months. What's up, dude? Yeah, this is cool. Conscript, it's on Steam right now. Well, it's not available yet. But uh, the demo is... It's gonna come out in 2021, apparently. Really cool. I played the Gloomwood demo. I played most of it. I got to, like, close to the end, and I gave up because I was, like, super tired that night. I didn't realize how close I was to the end. Yeah, that was great, dude. Both of those games were really neat. Um, okay. There was like a few other demos I could do too. What the fuck else was there? Hmm. We got did approaches. 